after finalizing the member size of the main frame you have to go for the gable frame so if i go to my plan you can see here this is my gable frame and i have intermediate column total four so press shift s to visible the support again and shift n to disappear the node number and save as this model first this is my gable frame take this add beam draw a beam here yes at the support level select this one and i have total four so uh, four column here select this one insert node this should be four i have total four additional column in between this main two column add in point okay now take this node cursor select all these four node go to here transitional repeat and select y and i'm going say eight meter and approximately higher than the the peak of this raptor and link steps this should be number of step one okay now and now select this raptor and this column new column and this raptor this one this one so after selecting all this column and raptor go to here geometry then intersect selected member intersect okay okay now select all the top portion of this column press delete okay yes select all this bottom portion of this line delete okay then i have to define another size for my this new column so define tab part say 300 208 301 to 01 add close select all this column select this one assign to selected beams assign yes now support select this support and also select all this node point assign to selected node okay support assign is done now if i go to here structure section outline apply okay full section apply okay now you can see first check my drawing i have this column orientation change i have this column vertically oriented and this column horizontally oriented so i have to change the orientation of these four new columns so to change the orientation of this column i have to go to here general go to here beta angle then create beta angle this should be 90 degree okay now select this beta angle select all these four columns and assign to selected beam assign yes now check again structure full section apply okay now you can see the column orientation has been changed but the new this column orientation is just same you can see here in my drawing here this column is same so now i have to change the size for my these raptors because here in my section i don't have any tapered section for this raptor due to the new column impose in between the main column so i have to change this to a similar size so if i take this third size so i have to select this one and this one select this third one assign okay so oh, and also this middle two okay done so all the raptor are now uniformly sized and this column and this column has the previous size for the main and we can also change this size of this one so i will change that later and first i have to change the moment capacity at the top of this column if you check my this section here i have a, a hinge type of connection here between this raptor and the column that's why there will be no moment uh, almost zero moment here so i have to change that from here select this one double click then change at change end from here partial moment release check this one select this mp this should be 0.99 so almost 99 percent moment will be released only one percent moment will be there so you cannot release 100 percent moment because there will be a little bit moment induced that's why this is 0.99 now add close now you can see a symbol has been drawn here which is almost red the same way go to specs here from this left side list and select the other column and also select this one here and mp99 assign yes 
so there will be almost no moment here at this joint uh, we have to change the wind load for here because this is my end bay so for my end bay i have all the load half of the main main frame load so i have all the load half of the main frame load so load and definition from here i have dead load this is first change this one cell port so the cell port should be for all the member i have newly created and all the previous member so if i select this one then assign to view assign yes okay this one should be 75 half of the load yes the live load also will be half 1.75 change close similar way the wind load will be half for each so if i change this this will be 3.78 change close next one will be 2.91 change close this one will be 2.126 change close this one will be 1.433 change close and there will be a new load if you see my wind load calculation i have a sidewall loading of this one so for my sidewall loading i have the base pressing almost 6.01 meter here so for my 6.01 meter i have the load is 4.26 so 4.26 should be for this intermediate column so select this one now add this is member load and this will be vertically aligned along this column so i have uniform force and this should be z so i have to do this should be from in the inner side of the building to the outside direction so i have this is z and this should be gz and i have minus 4.26 4.26 add and i have half of that so 2.13 add close select this load select all these four columns and assign to selected beams assign okay this is my end end to column yes similar way go to the next one from here change this value to 3.78 change close next one should be 2.91 change close this one is 2.126 change close this one is 2.13 change close select this WRL add member force along GZ this is minus 4.26 add and 2.13 add close now select this select all these four columns assign to selected beams assign ok select the next load select this to end column assign yes ok so our load changing is done and we have load combination previously completed so the same load combination and now we can just give a try how this is working to do you have to go to here analysis run analysis save go to post processing mode okay from here beam in which after completion of analysis you have to go to here again design and from this design parameter select this FYLD select all these new four columns and the value FYLD will be this one assign yes you need to check the UNT for this one this one and I have this value also for this four column UNB 3.34 this should be 2.34 modify ok and the UNT also should be for all these four columns ok check code for all these four column assign ok and material take up is also for all these four new columns okay done now again go to analysis run analysis save go to post processing mode done beam 
check okay now you can see the value here so all the value is lower than one which is a little bit lower than one so you have to change the value from here and the similar way you can check different parameter deflection moment and the other parameter like the main frame okay and if you want to uh, take a reaction of that using the similar process of the main frame you can also take the uh, reaction of this double frame and i hope you can change this value from here and we can optimize the size of this column and rafter and after the completion of the design if you want to check the weight of the total of this total frame you have to go to here instead output and going to instead output you can check here result and take up you can see here a kilonewton 40.195 kilonewton for this total frame and to make sure you have to go to here design and still take up when you clicking still take up if you see all the member is highlighted that mean that you have a weight of all these frames under this take up so going to here start output and results from here still take up you can see this is 40.195 kN for all this member and you have to take that value after completion of the size of this whole members and similarly you can also find the take up of the main frame I, I forget to show you how to check the take up of the main frame so i hope you have understand all this procedure and you can use this procedure to design any industrial gable frame and main frame and thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video